all right guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to put hopefully fingers crossed another five paper kits together we're going to match them up with some photos i previously selected these as page starters some of them from my kind of big stack of just non-collection non-themed papers that i have that i just keep in an iris bin and uh, play with and um, I know I will need to add some things to some of them as as I've previously said but for now I'm just using these as inspiration of um, of what I want to match up um, some of these papers to some photos that I that I currently have printed I always keep a stash of printed photos um, I just keep them in a uh, photo box in my Rascog. I use these um, folders that I print off here at home. Um, just some very inexpensive cardstock that I don't really care about. And um, the folders are from Craft Some Joy Lauren Hines here on YouTube. She's also on Facebook and other social media platforms. But I have found these to be extremely, extremely helpful. Um, and um, if you go into her, she has a, a website, you can find those there. Um, I can reuse them, which is why I only write on here on pencil. The nice thing about it is that if you ha do have ephemera, these, these photos obviously just go in into the little folders, but um, you can also place ephemera in here and everything is together for your page. Okay, so I love this paper. Uh, I put three these three papers in there. I don't know that I will use those, but I kind of like the polka dots. I kind of like the way that looks. Um, and I have a bunch of different photos here. I don't think I'm gonna find, um, no, I don't think this one. Uh, nope. Mm, nope. I've got a gazillion travel photos, so they're they're never ending. So I'm trying to take a break from documenting them. Oh, but I think this these will work. This is um, Mother's Day, and so I think yeah, I like the way these look together. It makes me feel like, you know, Mother's Day is still sometimes, this particular day was cold, it was cold. Um, so we're trying to make the best of it here. All right. Let me see. But, um... I do like the fact that that Mother's Day one had some flowers because I'm a sucker for some flowers. Oh, these these are not kits. Okay, these are just papers I liked. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I know why I put this one in here is because I was rethinking one of these. <laughs> Where did I put it? That's the better question. going through some of the ones I had already some of the page kits I had already matched with photos and I have pulled them I like to put them in my little organizer in my grass cog so I had pulled this particular one and I was like oh no I'm not documenting that I have I found those other papers so let's see Look at that. Mm. 
This is from the Eclipse in my backyard. Okay, let me, because I saw something back here. I think. Didn't I? Hmm. Or was it in the back of these? <laughs> I'm like, did I? Oh, maybe that's what it was. It might be the back of this one. No, that's not it. Maybe I saw the top of this. All right. I can bring out other colors, obviously, but I wanted to use one of these. I think I'm gravitating towards this one. Okay. Easy enough. Let me just look in and see what was in the what was in the page kit I originally put it in. Oh, it was this. Here, I'll show you. Oh. I had put it with this. And you see how that doesn't go? I was like, no, 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 no. I like, I like this. I had also put it with this. So that's a no. But this, my friends, is a yes. So let's put these, so that's two. All right, let's, Clean this out. Let's see what we've got to play with here. I also have this one that I took apart, so we can consider that one. Mm. Where's my photos? All right, let's see. Here's a one. One off. Nope. This is a mishmash. <laughs> this is a mishmash of photos. I'm like, this is not even the same. I thought I did a layout about these already. I gotta look through her stuff. Um, all right, let me find mm. let me find these two and then maybe this one When we were traveling last December, we saw our first ever circular rainbow. And we took advantage of getting a group photo and this this paper reminds reminded me of it look at that I think that's it I don't know that I need this paper oh it's the back of it well I'm gonna put both of them in because maybe I don't need to cut into that larger one but look at that you see that and this is the the full one and to be honest with you 
it was, it, things happen for a reason sometimes. It was a sign. We took it as a sign um, because we weren't even looking up. <laughs> yep, we weren't even looking up and it was just meant to be that we would see it. We went to take a picture, like a group, a group shot, and that's how we saw it. Okay, so let me look at these again. Oh no, I want to look at this one. Um, these are more Christmassy, huh? Okay, this is more of the grounds. Of where we're visiting. All right, let's let me stack these again. I'm gonna put these. These are the ones that I played with last time. All right, so these are relatively newer. Uh, let me see, where were these? This definitely has more of a... Indoor rustic. Okay, let's see. No, a two, two, everything is too red. these out so that I can work on more than one set of photos at a time so that I can kind of just see the colors there we go all right so these don't really go with these particular ones that's okay um yeah these are more No. What is this? Oh. <laughs> it's funny that the memories, right, that get triggered. <laughs> I have forgotten. I have forgotten all about that particular memory. Um. Oh, this is, this is the vineyard. All right, let's see. I don't think, I don't think that one. Hmm, I might have to pull. This is the one that I wasn't sure if I documented. Sometimes I forget to take out the photos. All right, let's see. You hear my stomach? Oh my gosh. It's growling.
these are perfect colors, but it's the wrong, the wrong theme. All right, let me look inside some of my travel ones. there no this is here you'll see what I mean by there I'm like wait when can I use this again yep here we go this is <laughs> these are precious um Ever since um, she was little, she was a little girl. She always puts the star at the top of the tree. This year, we uh, were there for when they put up their tree. <laughs> and um, my cousin, her dad, had my husband put help her boost her up because it's usually him. All right. So I think that's five guys. So let's see. So that's one that already has a background. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Oh, I'm missing one. Okay, we gotta do one more, right? One, two, three. So sorry about the recap. Now we got to do it all over again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's move these. Let me look at this one again because I think, think. have one for this. And that is the garden. This is how we started this year. I don't necessarily have to take out all these. I don't have to do all of the photos because I can maybe keep the flowers in one and the veggies in a different one. And the veggies, veggies, veggies. Okay. Maybe I'll keep the veggies in one. So I like to do before and afters. And then maybe I'll do the flower garden this year. My dahlias are kaput. They are the something the the heat the humidity burnt them they were gorgeous all right so i think i will do these flowers and keep the rest of the garden for next time all right guys so that is five so this is my last one um as i mentioned before part of making these kits is kind of for me this logical first step which is it makes sense in my head doesn't have to make sense in yours but when I have non-collection papers that I put together on my own before I begin working with them I go ahead and I like to match them up with photos before I go any further with it right before i start thinking about embellishments now for me the natural progression is for the next step to be about what embellishments can i bring in from my stash because again these don't have 
collections. This is when you might revert to manufacturer, right? This is a I think, hmm, now I don't know. This might be an Amy Tan or Paige Evans. If you have stuff in your stash from them and you recognize this, right, it would have helped if I kept the, what do you call those, um, the branding strip. But if you do, that's the perfect time. Or if it was simple stories, or if it was crepe paper, whatever it may be, that may be an easy default for for you as you're creating these if you're creating these along with me if you don't and you have some of your things stored by uh color then that might be the way to go if you do not have this is a mishmash so this is jen hadfield this is a paper pad and this is the boulevard so for these like i know i know i have Jen Hadfield stuff but do I have I don't know how much floral or I know I don't have that particular line I know I never bought it so I may have one-offs like little papers like this but I don't have collections where I would have like leftover embellishments if you will so here's page kit number one I do use record sleeves I buy them in bulk from Amazon um I think I buy a hundred and just reuse them they're a nice um they're a nice weight so they're not like super flimsy and then I'm able to reuse them for particularly for these kits um all right so I think that is it this is five one two three four five all right so that's it my friends and any of these leftover photos, I know I would just want to throw in there, but in my photo box, but I'm trying to make sure that I am cleaning up after myself and so I don't get mad at myself. And I just put this in the wrong thing. See, this is what I mean. Sometimes I just do things really fast and then I'm like, where is so and so all right so these I just have um I just have marked off by date I just have organized I'm sorry marked off I don't I'm not even I don't even know what I'm saying um I do have miscellaneous uh I do have miscellaneous folders for us so if there's like not an event but a photo of my family member then that's where I'll put it um otherwise if it's an event it's in the rest of the folders by date mm. and there we go and then I keep the empties back here. Pretty, pretty. Okay. But um, I hope you'll come back and join me next time. Bye for now.